Hey guys, what's going on? This is Matt here and welcome back to the Black Ops 3 Mod Toast tutorial series. So then, in this video, we're going to basically be carrying on from what we did in the last one. So in the last video, we basically just made a terrain batch, just a big one. Now we're actually going to be, I'm going to split this halfway, you know, so make it half size. And I'm now going to go over blending. So, uh, I'm not going to cover everything I just did in the last one, um, you know. I'm going to assume at this point like, that you've watched that. If you haven't done, I would recommend going back and watching that. Just because all of this now will make a lot more sense. So... What blending basically is, is we're going to take a base texture and we're going to put additional texture on top of it. So maybe you have, I don't know, let's say, pretty, pretty common one, let's say you have a concrete floor, okay? And all of a sudden you want some cracks on that floor. What you then can do is you can, you can put another texture over it, which are just cracks. That's now going to make that floor cracked. Maybe you have a road, as in this case, and we want to have some dirt in the middle but then grass on the sides we can blend that grass into the sides so for this one i'm going to be pretty much making some dirt here i'm going to put in some grass along the sides and a little bit in the center and then put some tire tracks um around here now of course this is not to scale um i don't know how big vehicles actually are i've not i've not gotten a model in for this but just to show you guys the blending that's kind of what i'm going for so let's of course make um the actual road first so we're gonna to go to textures and let's just go for dirt. Just just any sort of dirt texture really. Uh dirt, there we go. Give it a natural on the light map, make sure it's all nicely done. Lovely. So uh I'm not going usually as well, I would make because obviously the tires will be around this area, like around these two um, columns of verts, I would normally make them a bit more sort of in the ground. Uh, actually, you know, let's do it anyway. Select the select the rows so that's so all i did then was i selected two separate ones so i selected one by left click dragging and then another one by control left click dragging okay just in case you guys forgot that part so let's make you know a bit of a part like that so now let's copy this and put some grass in there so i'm going to do control c and control v to copy that you can see now you've got two patches do you know do the exact same texture and I'm going to go for grass, but now I'm going to get a blend texture. So I'm going to go grass. And at the very end, I'm going to do blend. Okay, so if you're wanting to do this, then what you're going to need to do, you have to have a blend texture. So you see at the very end of the textures, we have underscore blend at the end. Okay, these are all underscore blends because I've put it into here. You have to have a blend texture to be able to perform this. If you don't, it isn't going to blend properly. So let's go for... What's the difference? Let's go for this. So you see, it completely, you know, goes over everything we've just done. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select all the verts. To do this at this point, I'm going to do shift and left click. That selects an entire row. And I'm going to go down to my editing tool down here. So I'm only, I'm only going to do one side at a time, just so I can show the process. So to get this, it, you're going to go right click, and it is here, G effect g vertex color alpha editing and just make sure you have the settings here as i do okay so i'm going to go for alpha make sure you have this ticked um pretty much everything else is perfectly fine so make sure you have that and this slider now is going to be the how uh, basically how much we can see through it so all the way up you can see we can't see any of the dirt through it if i let's say put it down to about halfway we've got a bit of dirt coming through there just go a bit more into it see we've got a bit of dirt coming through Let's lower that even more. You can see we've got quite a bit of dirt coming through. And let's put it all the way down. You can see it's completely blended away the center. So it's now a grass with uh, some dirt in the, in the middle. So if we perform this again for this other side, I'm just going to do that just to make it take effect again. So now you can see we've got a relatively decent looking dirt path. So I can power lighting just so we can see it a bit better. That didn't work. Okay, yeah, that works quite well. So you can see we've got dirt going into some grass. I'm going to, I'm going to stay in non-lighting mode though. It's a bit easier to see. Okay, so now let's say you want some tire tracks here. Now, of course, you know, you can keep on adding to this. You know, maybe you want some, uh, some maybe wet mud around there as well. You really can just keep adding and adding layers onto this. Um, I'm just keeping it simple just because, you know, I want to show the basics, that's all. So let's add some tire tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the dirt. I'm going to just move this over towards one side just so we can see what we're doing I'm gonna split the patch down the middle like so because this is gonna be per track I'm doing 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a bit a bit shorter. Okay, I don't want it to cover the entire thing. So I'm going to add a vert here and add a vert here. And I'm going to take away this vert and also take away this vert. If I can select it. Okay, so I'm going to take away them two columns. So you can see it's the exact same. Um, it's just a bit thinner. Now the reason why I did this, I didn't, I didn't simply just move it like that, is because you notice we're on a bit of a tilt. So if I was to move it, it, it won't be in line anymore. So I did that just to keep this, just basically to keep the same incline. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So if I move this over, like so, so we'll unblend everything, so so I can see everything perfectly, like so. And then we'll go up to let's go tracks. See what we have. Horse tracks. Okay, muddy tracks. Okay, that looks quite good. Maybe we want the blend version. You can see if I do this again, you can see it goes weird. That's because we do not have the blend. We have to have a blend texture here. So I'm gonna select all these, blend these away. Select those and blend those away. You see now we've got the edges blended away. Uh, let's just see how this looks. This might be a bit... Okay, actually, that, that looks quite good, actually. Didn't expect it to look quite like that. So that's actually pretty perfect to what I need. So I'm going to show you guys what would have happened if we hadn't have done the way I did the, the vertices here. Just I feel like it's probably a good idea to show that. So let me really quickly just make a new one. Uh, I won't explain any of this. Just make it nice and nice and quick, as such, and then move it back over. Right. So here we have this. So if I, you know, if we look at the tr if we look at the tire tracks, you see, you know, it is pretty much about half about half of the distance here. Right. It, it is in between there. Okay. Just deselect them. So if we were to just move them. Like so, you can see it completely misaligns it here. Okay, it, it comes it comes off where we're working with. Yes, you can go into a lower grid view and, and you know alter you know alter it. But if you some you know if you're working with like you know literally very very few units, it could get really quite messy and quite difficult to work with. If I just put my scene switcher back on, it's stopped again. There we go. So yeah, you, you know it does get quite messy. So a nice easy way to do it, as I said was adverts and remove verts. Keeps everything nicely to grid, especially when you're working on inclines. So let's copy this over. Nicely lined up, there we go. And that's basically guys, just a bit of a basic road. So all we did here, we, uh, you know, we had a base texture of some dirt. Then we add some grass going over it, and then we just added some tire tracks as well going over that. Uh, you know, you really can mess about with the verts here, guys. You know, creating what you want, of course, because you know we've got quite a lot of verts in this direction, and we don't really need them. But we do need them in the vertical direction. You can, you know, by all means, take take a few away. Um, you know, cr crossways. Um, I just like to create patches that have more or less this sort of density, just because it's kind of what I'm used to. Uh, but yeah guys that's how to uh, do a bit of blending and make a basic road uh, in the next video i'm going to be going over cylinders and square cylinders so that that be two separate videos though and then we'll be coming back to something similar to this later on in the series where we're going to be going over um, curve patches so it's very similar in terms of you know the way we're working with verts but instead of doing straight things we'll be doing curve stuff so uh you know you can really start to sort of amp up your mapping skills there a little bit and uh, create some much more complex geo um, so yes, I'll see you guys in the next video then, where, as I said, we'll be going over some cylinders. So, thanks for watching. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my very best to help there. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.